Guys, let's look at grouping of variables into appropriate entities. In your exam, you might get a portion where you are supposed to group variables into appropriate entities. So to start with, we need to know what is an entity and what is a variable. What is an entity? An entity is an object or concept that is represented in the database. For example, guys, if you keep database about a customer, then for that case, the customer is the entity. If you are keeping database about a student, then a student is the entity. On the other hand, we have variables. Uh, basically, variable is a memory location. That means uh, if you are talking about a customer, there is a variable called customer ID that will be used to store the customer identification numbers so you can talk of a variable being a memory location that can hold a value then on the other hand guys we have an example here let's say you are uh, responsible for designing a database to manage uh, customer data for an online retailer you have the following variables to work with so guys don't forget the entity here is the customer we are keeping database about the customer then the variables are now these uh, various here or these field names you have customer id name address phone number email address order history payment history customer service interactions and product reviews so let's look at the procedure what is the procedure of um, that is arranging or grouping uh, variables according to their respective entities. So the first one, determine which variables relate to each uh, to each theme. For example, under the customer information theme, you might uh, group variable one to five, that is customer ID, name, address, phone numbers, and email address. So guys, here we have uh, grouped our variables uh, into their respective entity, that is customer information theme. Number two, at the order information theme, you might group variable six, that is order history. Order history will be grouped uh, on the order information theme. You can also go ahead and group uh, variable number seven, that is payment history, under the payment information theme. So guys, here you can see I have created, uh, that is uh, an entity a customer information theme order information theme other then we also have the payment uh, customer service and the product so guys you see in variable one to five i have the above customer information then variable six i have grouped it as order history uh, that is order information then under the payment information i have variable number seven that is uh, payment history then under customer service information theme you might group variable eight that is customer service interaction and lastly you can also group the variable nine that is the product reviews under product information theme so guys you just need to be creative and then uh, uh, you group your data according to various uh, categories or themes then guys uh, that is the end of my uh, presentation and also remember to subscribe and share my videos. Thank you very much.